स्टूडेंट्स एंड पेरेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल विद अनदर साइंस ट्यूटोरियल वीडियो टुडे आई ऑलरेडी मेड अ वीडियो ऑन द बेसिक प्रिंसिपल ऑफ साउंड अ पावरफुल एनर्जी इफ यू वांट यू कैन सर्च इन माय चैनल और यू कैन वॉच दैट वीडियो फ्रॉम माय एंड स्क्रीन सजेस्टेड वीडियो इन माई टू डेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वट इज वाइब्रेशन एंड वट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन वाइब्रेशन एंड साउंड सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Sound is a form of energy that travels in the form of vibrations through the air or any other medium. When these vibrations reach a person's or animal's ears, they can hear a sound. Now let's understand what is vibration. A periodic motion of the particles of an elastic body or medium in alternatively opposite directions from the position of equilibrium. when that equilibrium has been disturbed is called a vibration sound is a type of energy made by vibrations when an object vibrates it causes movement in surrounding air molecules these molecules bump into the molecules closest to them causing them to vibrate as well this makes them bump into more nearby air molecules Hold a plastic scale firmly at the edge of a table as shown here. Strike the free end of your finger. Does it produce any sound? What kind of motion do you observe in the scale? This is called vibration. This is a tuning fork. If you strike a tuning fork on a rubber pad and then bring it too close to your ear, you can feel easily the vibration on it. If you hit one leg of a tuning fork with a iron ball or stick then you can easily feel the vibration on its legs The kind of motion that produces sound is a rapid to and fro motion or vibration hence sound is produced by vibrating bodies You can understand vibrations in the movement of a simple pendulum. It consists simply of a weight hanging by a thread. When the ball is given a small push, it performs to and fro movements which you can easily observe. These slow vibrations are known as oscillations. The three important characteristics of vibrations are its frequency, amplitude and time period. these determine the characteristics of the sound produced the number of vibrations made by the vibrating body in 1 second is known as its frequency the si unit of frequency is hertz you can easily understand what is low frequency and what is high frequency from this diagram given If a body makes 600 vibrations in 1 second its frequency will be 600 hertz 1 kilo hertz will be equal to 1000 hertz Now let's understand what is amplitude the maximum event of vibration of a vibrating body from its mean position is known as its amplitude You can easily understand what is amplitude from the diagram given Now let's understand what is time period. The time taken by the vibrating body for one complete vibration is known as the time period of vibration. It is denoted by T. One vibration is made in every T seconds. Therefore, the number of vibrations made in one second is one by T. Recall that the number of vibrations made in one second is the frequency f. So the expression is frequency f will be equal to one by t, where t is the time period here. So time period and frequency are reciprocals of each other. So dear students, I hope my today's video will become helpful for your study. Obviously, follow my all channel videos to get good marks in mathematics and science. Bye bye.